right, we got our first week four rivalry matchup. There's gonna be head to head, back to back games for the rivalries. This rivalry, we got the two middle seeds competing for the number two seed. The Phoenix will score on a nice 10 yard passing touchdown before it gets demoed. But as I was saying, as I was saying, this is the first time these two teams have met and they're competing for the number two seed. So this could be a really huge game for the rankings wise. I got my side announcer, Kuhar, here with me. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, that's Ku Daddy. Phoenix on the kickoff, no onside elected. I don't know. It's gonna roll for a while. <laughs> oh my god, just give me the second time. Blake has done this. That's the second time. That's the second time the Baltimore Bandits have pulled that. That's the Baltimore Bandits special play. All right, Bandit's on the kickoff. Okay, with the swerve, with the stop at you, and you get to stop. He does get the stop. On the side of car, but it's gonna return it. He's gonna get the goal here if Greg doesn't catch up. But he's gonna get there, and he's gonna get it halfway out of the net with the epic save. Greg needs this more. Greg needs to get this juke. He's gonna get there. What a play. What? What a play from the Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix saying wasn't even close. No. Phoenix giving a little trash talk here. Play of the week candidate? Could be, could definitely the play of the week. We saw that in week three as well. Yeah, week three, the play of the week was when Blake had that amazing sequence where he stopped it on the one, swerved him twice, had to stop Duke and then scored. You gonna let it roll again. This is Blake's special play. Blake, Greg can stop it, but he has to dump it off on the other side of the field, and he has to go back to his corner. He's and he's going to take the ball, and he's going to see the Phoenix. You're going to save this. Another stop for the Phoenix. They're going to stop me again. Oh, the swerve! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh, we're going to have a tough time choosing Play of the Week. Oh wow, we're really gonna have a tough time choosing play of the week. Wow. And then this one actually, the fav the ranking committee actually, we didn't tell the players this yet, but the, the favorings actually favored the Baltimore Bandits by two. <laughs> it's stuck on his wheels and he's still going! What is- <laughs> Oh my God. Bad play, yes. Bad play there on the Phoenix part, but they're gonna get it. It won't matter. That will not matter in the end, because Greg will score as it looks. Yes, he will. Yes. Four to one lead. With three minutes to go. Great play by Bl Greg. Blake won't have the stop, but couldn't score on it. So, in the end, it will not work out for Blake. All right, we got 2.56 left. Not Four to one. They're doing an onside very kick. Early. Calls very it. early. That's gonna be. That's, gonna be that's legal. That's gonna be recoverable. Well, no, the oh, the Phoenix are not gonna get there in time. The Bandit's gonna make a back juke here, hoping to get this to touchdown. And he had to side on Greg. Um, a really smart play there on Blake's part to see. So, so he could have Greg in his sight and know where he was. Yeah. That's a great play. The Bandits really needed to get their goal there. Down by two. Yeah, let's bring it back to a two score ball game. Not gonna not onside, so it would have been a decent onside on his part, but Bandits don't even need the onside here. Oh wait, it was the ball ever recovered or something? It was definitely touched. It was definitely touched. Greg is bumped, he can recover. He tries a spin move, he's not gonna get it. He spawns on the wrong side of the field. And the passing touchdown. Beautiful pass there. Yeah. Dropped it in like Tom Brady. Like that is my move. Yeah. 
Bandits, bandits tried to pull the bandits tried to pull a Greggy Poo move and it did not work out in their favor. A three point lead. Got, this would yeah. be the first time in Arsenal history that the favorites have not. Yeah. The favorite committee has never been wrong up until possibly this game. And it's gonna this is not a good play on the letter Blake's roll. Part. Why is Blake doing this all the time? Blake is chewing his own This time. is not a good play on Blake's part whatsoever. Blake's gonna return it. Another another Greg bad play that on the Greg says he's lagging. He is lagging. They are lagging. We're in the middle of the game. Greg is there. No, it's so close. I have the count on the You're up five to three. Greg, I'm doing it. All right. Well, now you're at 16. All right, it was one goal. It was one goal. I think we'll be fine. Calling that goal, we're not calling any penalties on that because the lag is a lag. If the lag lasts for more than probably about two possessions, we'll have to roll something. Did he announce onside? No. Oh my god, wait, did he touch it? Did he touch it? Wait, 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 wait. Did, did anyone say I onside? Mean, did, he touch it? did he say onside? Yes, I did say onside. I, I think I heard him say onside. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. If he called an onside, so he, he has, you don't have to touch it as long as it bounces in the square. Yeah. At the touchdown, folks. There's a little confusion there on the referee's part, but it doesn't matter. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the, the Baltimore Bandits actually did call onside on the FaceTime. I don't know if you probably might not have been able to hear it. Okay, he's going to chew out cock here. Great play by Blake. Greg, remember, you have to recover within 30 seconds of the kickoff. All right, 30 seconds seems a little much. We should probably change that rule sometime. Uh, we'll, we'll make that 15. 15 is probably reasonable. Right. Greg. Probably return it now. Blake needs to Blake needs to get the stop. Oh, he almost got him with the back tire. He gets him. This is huge. He needs to get this goal. He really needs to get this goal for the swing of momentum, and he's gonna get the score. The announcers are going crazy. This is RFL, folks. Wow, a very, very, very. Close this by Greg. And this game is back into possibly chance. No, no onside game. here, even though they are legal. But what I was saying earlier is the bandits actually forgot to use oh, their onside. The swerve! This could be the big comeback here. No! Yes! No! Yes! 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 No! I don't know what to say! <laughs> Uh, I'm actually losing my voice here, folks. I'm actually losing my voice. Himself as the number two seed in this game looks like. Just an onside. No onside here. That's that's legal there. Legal return the swerve. This could be huge. No, the swerve. The double swerve. Oh my, that was incredible. To tie this game up with only 26 seconds this left. This is the lowest scoring game, I believe, in RFL history. Yes, it is. Now yeah. the question, the big onside. question here, folks, is will he do an onside? He said onside. He said onside, onside kick onside. here. He's gonna kick off. That's gonna be recoverable. That's recoverable. He's gonna oh, he's gonna get it! I missed the boost. I lost. He's gone. He's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. Raheem Mostert, the 99-yard touchdown. You should have just blocked there. No. I actually, the I actually disagree with the other announcer. I think it might have been a little too risky to chew he clock there. He clock and waited, like, no, he was right behind him. He was right behind him. I didn't see that on my part. Yeah. I didn't I see that. The, the boost. So we kick off from Blake. Will he announce onside? Will he play it safe? Blake, kick off. No onside, onside here. Onside. This, is, this is a one score game. 10 seconds left. Oh, he missed a pull! It could be huge! He needs to score! This is his last chance! Oh my god, oh my god. No way! Hey, that's game! That will be the game! And Greg has fallen. The, per the committee's never wrong! The committee's never wrong! Who are the committee will never be wrong! The committee was no, not wrong. I lost because of the last Wow. In the end. That is a... 
Well, no, because you own gold. Remember, Blake did his trick? Wow. That was a crazy week four matchup, guys. We'll see you guys in the second matchup of week four. Right after this, um, it's going to be the 0-3 Cougars versus the 3-0 Melons. Could be a close game, actually. We don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be a fun time. And we'll see you guys over there in the second game of week four. Peace out.